Do you know what this is? This beautiful creature is a piece of Perl code, but not just any Perl code. It's written using Lingua Erdomana Perlica, a module that tries with heroic optimism to civilize Perl using Latin grammar. So instead of wild symbols like at, dollar sign, and other scores everywhere, you get proper Latin declensions. A scalar variable isn't dollar sign next, it's nextum. And ri isn't et next. It's next And the L value of that scalar is nexto. Weird? Yes. But linguistically, shockingly logical. Perligata code actually ends up looking like ancient Roman prose. If Roman had to write scripts between the conquering continents. And why am I telling you this? Because I recently dug up an old fizzbuzz I wrote in Perligata years ago. Is it perfect? No. Does it work? Surprisingly, yes. And since we live in the age where AI is apparently replacing all developers, I wanted to see whether modern models could handle a very simple task. Write this in Perl using Lingua Romana Perligata. I tested seven models, all in deep reasoning mode because the quick modes didn't even come close. So let's start with Meta AI. Meta politely informed me that it does not know Latin, but will notify me once it learns. However, it did manage to write a plain Perl version instead. Next up, Copilot. Copilot first generated a non-working Perligata solution, then switched to Latin to explain the errors produced when trying to run its own code. It then wrote a regular Perl script with English variable names, and even offered a Latinized version which turned out to be normal Perl with a variable named Exodus. Creative, but definitely not Perligata. Moving on to DeepSeek, it first produced an incorrect solution, and when I asked it to fix it, it entered a philosophical infinite loop, thinking until it hit a timeout. A true Roman tragedy. Now let's take a look at Gemini. Gemini produced what looked like Perligata, but Pearl disagreed. Even after multiple iterations and showing it the exact error messages, it couldn't correct itself. Claude wasn't much different. It performed exactly like Gemini. Elegant explanations, broken code. Next on the list, ChatGPT. Chat thought for a long time. First attempt, close, but with small mistakes. Second attempt, over seven minutes of deep thought, but it actually produced a working solution. Finally, a victory, and surprisingly similar to mine. And then there was Grok, the absolute champion. After just a couple of minutes, it produced a clean, readable, fully working Perligata program on the first try. Honestly? better than mine and ChatGPT's. Grok officially earns the title of Honorary Roman. So what does this tell us? Even in 2025, AI still struggles with tasks that fall outside the mainstream of normal programming. Real-world development isn't just writing easy algorithms in well-known languages the models were trained on. Sometimes it's integrating with obscure APIs, undocumented modules, or niche libraries the model has never seen before. In those cases, AI can't rely on memory. It has to reason from the problem description and the docs you provide. And as we've just seen, that part is still very much a work in progress. Subscribe if you want to see more unusual adventures in programming and AI.